What's up guys, this is Tampa Tech and this is the Paxis Robotic Vacuum Cleaner, oh, Pool Robotic Vacuum Cleaner. And it's still working great. I did a video about this uh, probably about almost a year ago, I think. And it's still working fantastic, except the belt broke. And the belt broke and I ordered the belt from Paxis. So uh, make sure you keep that in mind. You wanna contact Paxis, don't throw out the manual because it has the contact information, but you can always Google it. This is the belt. And this is the model number. You can see that right there. And so let's go ahead and turn this to the side. And you can see there's a belt right here on the bottom. And if I move this wheel, the belt moves. See? And so I have replacements. And so if the wheels don't move forward and back, it's the big belt that is driving the, this roller that most likely is broken. And you'll know because it'll be all flopping around loose or missing. It could be somewhere in the bottom of your pool. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to fix that and also fix the fan, the blower motor uh, belt, replace that. With this setup, it's fairly easy. You just get a flathead screwdriver you can push that in, or you can pull this back and then pop this out like that. Right here, and then pull this back. There you go, that comes loose, just like that. And so let me show you real fast how to take these on and off if you just want to maintain them in maintenance and stuff like that. And it's fairly easy. I mean, you could take this whole plastic panel off if you wanted to. There's really no need. So, to put it on, you just twist like this. Okay. There you go. That's on. And to remove it, you just pull this up like that and then twist. There you go, and that comes right off. So let's go ahead and first things first is we're gonna replace the inner belt. And some people might think they have the wrong size belt, but you're putting it on the wrong side. So you wanna have to measure. So there's a gear right here and a gear right here. And then there's a center gear right here but it's actually closer to one side. And it looks like this is closer to this. And so we're gonna use this smaller belt right there. If you try to attach this, right, this gear, the belt on this big gear into here, it'll be too short. So we're gonna put it on this side. So keep that in mind. I'm gonna try both sides before automatically assuming the belt is too small. Okay. So now, we're gonna do the same technique. I don't know if you can see that or not, because my hand's in the way. We're gonna do the same technique where we're gonna roll it. Yeah, that's probably a better view right there, right? And then, so we're gonna rotate this until it catches. There we go. That's a little tight, so we have to get it on the other side, so we're gonna keep on rotating it. So we're gonna slide this down a little bit more, just like that, to the next one, and then there we go. Now it's on. Okay. And that's what we want to do. If you're going to get one belt, get them all because it's kind of a, annoying to keep on doing this, replacing belts. But you might have to do this every two years. All right, pull this down again. 
and rotate this. There we go, got it. Yeah, and that's it. We're good, make sure everything is nice. You wanna make sure you rotate this, all the gears move. And all the gears are moving, so we're good. Let's pull this back, pull this side, and then pull this back, and that pops right back in. All right, let's go ahead and set it up. There's the fan I was talking about. And make sure everything's secure. Let's try to check both sides. All right, let's drop it in. And turn it on, set it for one hour. Should automatically turn on. Give it a little slack. Oh, there it goes. I think it's working. Let's see if it moves back and forth. Oh, there it goes. Cool. Everything's working. So guys, hopefully this video helped you out. Thanks guys for watching.